Christian Brechet, welcome. You're the president of the Institut Pasteur. A question about health, health and governance. Isn't there a problem really with the pharmaceutical industry in that it is so expensive to develop new drugs that it wants to maximize always its market and therefore there are certain illnesses. Uh, you talked about Ebola, for example. Uh, how does one somehow galvanize research into producing things that are also commercially viable and important to humanity? Well, that's one of the key challenges for, for the future, obviously. I believe that we have several models and uh, that we have some success, for example, regarding the HIV. Mm -hmm. uh, we have had major progress with the treatment and uh, we also have now uh, drugs which have been with lower pricing for developing and, uh, and emerging countries. So, uh, it's, uh, yes, we need, in general, to have a novel mechanism, and this is about governance, uh, to provide more incentive for, uh, say, rare disease in developing countries. Now, you have already interesting initiatives, such as uh, the uh, Drugs for Neglected Disease Initiative, which is supported in part by the Gates Foundation, by the WHO, by medical, uh, by uh, Doctors Without Borders, uh, where they have been able to take a number of drugs uh, and to really uh, develop them in a context of much lower pricing. So, the answer to your question is yes, we need a more formalized mechanisms with more uh, incitative to really develop these drugs and we need networking between those um, pharma pharmaceutical companies and uh, large, uh, uh, large institutions, large international institutions. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, you talk about networking. I mean, the World Policy Conference, it seems to me, is in many ways all about networking. Mm -hmm. Has it been useful? Is it useful for you in your particular mm -hmm. role? It's very useful and you see it's interesting because the session I have been chairing, so I presented about the main challenges regarding global health and one health and how we handle sanitary crisis. Then Bertrand Badré from the World Bank, they have very interesting financial mechanisms. We are actually interacting and finally I met because of this conference Louise Fresco with the president yes. uh, of, of, of the Warningen University. And actually we were just having discussion together on associations. So I believe that this is a good example today for me of how this networking can be real. Thank you very much indeed.